All right, ladies, so five signs that he doesn't love you anymore. And you guys have to understand before anything, this is normal. This is a normal part of humans, human relationships. And that sometimes there's nothing wrong with you. It's just that every relationship has a time limit. Everything in life has an expiration date, even love. The only thing that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't have an expiration date is with blood, with our family. You know what I'm saying? So you got to realize that every relationship you're in will end either through death or by somebody losing interest. So do not feel bad. You're not the only one. It's okay to be dumb. We've all been there. You know what I'm saying? So if this is happening to you and you're experiencing these things, please understand that you're not the only one. We've all been through it, okay? So don't feel bad. I've been dumb. I've been kicked to the fucking curb. All right, the first one is that when on your birthday, there's not a lot of enthusiasm. Like, it's like, it's like he, he, go, he doesn't... He doesn't have that enthusiasm for your birthday. He doesn't he doesn't put thought into it. You see what I'm saying? And this is more related to when you've been with him for like a year or so. If we if he takes you to his birthday and you notice that there's no enthusiasm, you notice that he just takes you out, but it's like he doesn't he doesn't spend too much time with you. You don't you don't spend the night with him. He doesn't make you feel special. You kind of feel like you kind of feel like he's not giving you all. You can sense it. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't love you that much. If you got to remind him that it's your birthday to celebrate it, he doesn't love you that much. You know, it, it is really hard to say that. I've been in that situation. I've been with a girl a few, like um, last year, I remember, where I celebrated her birthday and I just did it because I felt bad, you know? Like, I took it to a nice place. I got, you know, but I, I only did it because I felt bad, you know? No, I mean, she, she's this girl from, from London. Like, she, she, she was living here. And I did it because I felt bad for her, you know? And after the day, you know, like, she she asked me to, to, to come back to my place. And I was like, fuck. Like, I want to go home, man. I'm done with this shit. It's sad. It's sad, people. It's sad. It's sad. You got to learn how to read people, ladies. You got to read people, please. You can, or else you're going to look pathetic out there. Um, by the way, ladies, don't forget, I have a seminar coming up on the 25th of September, go to the description down below to check it out when. And I have a few seminars coming up in London, in, um, in LA and Miami, all right? Um, the first one, I, I may do it in November. Yeah, I may do it in, in November um, the 15th, perhaps, and after that, I, I'm, I'm gonna think about when, um, but I'm definitely gonna go to Miami and London, so you guys you guys should check it out. And that seminar is gonna be about how to, how to maintain a healthy relationship. So it's gonna be a, like a like a, a one day seminar, but it's gonna be about relationships. My seminars usually are, are not about relationships; they're usually about spirituality. So it's gonna be unique. And also, I'm gonna be having a retreat next year in Mexico. Um, and we're gonna be doing like a like a, a meditation retreat where where I'm I'm gonna give you guys the opportunity to do some DMT, to meditate on shrooms, to go look at the pyramids on shrooms. It's gonna be really nice, and um, it, it's more gonna be like a spiritual retreat. So I hope you guys like it. It's gonna be like three or four days. The next one is drinks around. He usually when he's he, when he hangs out with you, that motherfucker gotta get drunk around you. He gotta get drunk. When he's with you, he either has to spark a blunt or he has to drink. The point is, is that he kind of he doesn't feel that chemistry. So he needs to do something to kind of feel enlivened around you. You know what I'm saying? Or you guys only hang out when you guys have sex. Or or he's only cool with you before he has sex with you. Or or you only hang out with him with his friends. Like the point is, is that he cannot have a moment with you of intimacy. He cannot have a moment with you without anything stimulating him. You get, you get what I'm saying? And that's a sign that you just don't do it for him anymore. You know? The second, the third one is that the sex isn't as good anymore, right? But I'll be honest with you, this is something natural, okay? I'll be honest with you, this is very natural. But it, it also correlates though, you know, it's not, correlation doesn't equal causation, but it correlates that if somebody doesn't like you, they'll just stop having sex with you as much. But this is a little confusing because sometimes a person does love you, but that naturally the sex lowers because when a guy gets in a relationship, or even when a guy gets married, his testosterone lowers. And that's there so that he doesn't cheat, you know what I'm saying? Like, the lowering of the testosterone is to avoid cheating, I believe. But it also means sometimes the person just doesn't like you anymore, you know? And I, that's happened with me, where I'm with a girl and, like, <laughs> I'll let her suck my dick, but I won't fuck her, because I'm just not attracted to you no more. 
<laughs> you know? He's an asshole. Yeah, I'm an, I am an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fucking asshole. You, you better fucking believe I am, right? But that's the thing, unfortunately, man. You guys got to learn to read people. It's vital. And the last one is that he's spending less time with you. He's, he prefers to spend more time alone. He, you notice he has less tolerance around you. He doesn't like to hang out with you as much anymore. He'd rather hang out with his friends than with you. And there's always a reason why he doesn't want to hang out, right? But the thing is about these kind of guys is that they feel guilty for, for, for pushing you away. So they'll, they'll, they'll tell you they like you. They'll give you words. They'll try to convince you. And heck, they'll even text you saying, baby, I love you. Baby, I miss you. But the actions don't show it. The actions don't show it. The reason why people... When, they're, when they don't love you, the reason why they tell you they love you is because they feel guilty. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want to be that person. You, you get what I'm trying to say? And those are the five signs that a guy is, is, is not in love with you anymore. And heck, even forgetting, even forgetting anniversary, man. And, and last one is that he's just not romantic with you anymore. Anymore, you know? Like, and he's not romantic with you as much as he used to anymore. And that's a big problem, man. I feel bad um, because I've been in that situation on both sides and it's difficult man it really is but it's your responsibility to be able to read that it's your responsibility it's if you get played it's your fucking fault it's that simple it's your fault and 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 with the girls that i've been with that this happened to where i i was i was the one who was doing it to them i felt bad i'm not gonna lie i really felt bad because i could see the fucking humongous difference between how i feel versus how they feel but it's not my fault too bad like if she's gonna do it with if she doesn't with me, if she doesn't do it with me, she's gonna do it with somebody else. <laughs> you know, like you get, you get what I'm trying to say. Like if it's a, if it's not with me, it's gonna be with somebody else. If you're not, if you don't get played by him, you're gonna get played by somebody else. It's, it's how that works, man. All right, ladies. So don't forget seminar in, seminar in New York City. Purchase the tickets. We're about to be sold out. Check it out now before the tickets get sold out. Um, and if you guys need one-on-one -on -one coaching, you guys know where to go on the description down below. Peace out, my friends. Oh, and don't forget, people. Um, check us out on pay on the mindful attraction Academy It's the VIP section for all of my subscribers where we have the book club the mindful attraction the mindful attraction book club we have videos that we don't post on Inst on YouTube and we post it there instead right it's a place where you get it's, a, it's like my other YouTube channel where I answer your questions and you're able to ask me questions and I answer them in a form of a video, okay? So it's a good it's a good deal for a lot of people who wanna work with me at an affordable price. So go check it out and I'll see you there. All right, ladies, so finally, I have released my second course for women, which is Natural Chemistry. This course is a five-week course. Five-week course where every week you're gonna get a new set of videos Based on based on specific issues, the, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry. No more short-term partners. No more being fooled. Why? Because I will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being a too attached, signs that he's the wrong guy, signs that he's a narcissist, signs that he's a mama's boy, signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup form up right the connecting with your man right establishing a life of abundance social mastery understanding your dark side the goal setting seminar which is about how to set and achieve goals practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything the laws of human nature i will come that i have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content right the transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right, ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. 
free videos, all right? So you could just check it out for free and then you could get out. Nothing wrong with that, all right? So, and on top of that, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right. No questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're going to want to buy it. I can promise you. Just like my other course, um, the psychological the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're going to love this one. This one is not about manipulation. This is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now. All right? I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.